So today we're going to make a contaminant free lotion. Contaminant free lotion? But I already used Jergens. What's wrong with that? Jergens is a nice idea. However, if you'll take a look at the ingredient section, you'll notice methyl paraben or propyl paraben. Now these are contaminants of emerging concern, and the lotion we're going to make today doesn't contain those. What about the cherry almond scent? That's from artificial fragrances, which are also contaminants of emerging concern. The lotion that we make today is going to contain all natural scents. So first we're going to take this jar, and this is where we're going to put all of our ingredients. So first we're going to take the beeswax. Now what you want to do is you need a grater, and you want to grate a tablespoon of beeswax. I've already done that because it takes... Starting from here. Yeah. It takes a while. It takes... This is probably the hardest part of the whole recipe. It's not too tricky, but it does take a while, so I've already done it. So we're going to put that... The beeswax in the jar. Alright. Then, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of the cocoa butter. Cocoa butter? And here we have a measuring cup. What is best to use to get it out? You can use a knife, a spoon. There we go. Okay, perfect. Put it in. Add it right to the beeswax. Then we're going to heat all of this up and get it into a liquid consistency. In order to do that, we're going to put it in a hot pot full of water. Can I use my microwave? Absolutely. If you have a microwave, you can put it in the microwave. I would recommend putting it in for 30 to 40 seconds at first, and then keep doing 20 to 30 second intervals until it's melted. Now it's very important while it's melting to stir it. And while you're doing that, I'm going to measure out a quarter of a cup of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed? Oh. Grapeseed oil. The only reason I'm choosing grapeseed oil over jojoba oil is because it's cheaper. Ooh, it's melting. Alright. It's all melted. Let's take a look. Yeah. You can take it out of the you can take it out of the hot pot. Now we're gonna add the grapeseed oil. All right. so if you wanna go and keep on stirring that so it all mixes together. Measure out a quarter of a cup of distilled water. This other hot pot here, we've got distilled water heating up. It's very important that you heat up the distilled water so that when you add it to the hot mixture, it doesn't cause things to solidify. Okay. So we're going to measure out a quarter of a cup of water. And before we add it, we're going to add to that an eighth a teaspoon of baking soda. A quarter teaspoon here, so I'll just do half. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to add this, and if you want to stir it. Alright, now we're going to add the lecithin. This is the emulsifying agent. So we're going to add an eighth a teaspoon of lecithin. So. Thank you. We'll add half of this. Alright. Now at this point, if you want to, you're more than welcome to add an essential oil. Would you like to add an essential oil? Sorry? Yeah, let's do All it. Alright, which one do you want to add? I think I'd like to do orange. Okay. So just add a couple drops, three drops, no more are necessary. Alright, perfect. Cute little jar for presentation purposes only. Make a nice gift. Yeah, you can put a ribbon on it, put a label on it. Okay. Now you have your lotion. What you want to do is you want to shake it periodically. It's going to take a couple of hours to solidify. So maybe 
you know, a couple times an hour for a couple seconds, just give it a good shake so that it doesn't separate into its, you know, the cocoa butter and the beeswax so that it's all solid lotion consistency. And after a couple of hours, oh, this will turn. You'll end up with a lotion that looks like this. Ooh, that's nice. It smells good too. And there you have it. It was that easy to make your own lotion. And fun.